All right, welcome back guys. So in, instead of doing another plant or manta video, I'm going to be doing like I did with the mango stains. I'm actually going to be doing a taste test review. So I was looking at my friend's Facebooks and I guess they have something that was called cotton candied flavored grapes. And I'm like, what are those? Like literally, what is that? I'm like, they. it has to be like the grapples. If you guys remember that, it's like the apples that are injected with grape flavoring or they sit in a bath of grape juice. I don't know, stupid. But anyways, um, I heard that these were natural, all organic, USDA approved, everything like that. So there's no artificial flavorings at all. It's just good breeding, apparently. So I guess there was also someone who actually contacted the owner, CEO, chairman, whatever, and he actually did um, respond and say that they in fact are real. So I went ahead and looked at where I could find one and my friend told me that I can actually get them at Sprouts, which is a store that I never heard of. Please don't kill me for that. But I've never heard of them before, so uh, we went down there and we picked some up and they were a little more expensive than the average grape. They're like $3.99 a pound, which usually grapes are like two bucks. But anyways, uh, we picked them up. We got two because after um, my, my brother tried them, he told me we had to get two and I didn't try it yet because I wanted to make sure that I got the first taste with you guys so anyways here's the bag right here it looks pretty cute actually it's a a nice pink color definitely matches the name if it goes with the cotton candy label so right there cotton candy um, grapes obviously and right here is like the the guy's email I don't know if you can see that but he's like the CEO I'm gonna try to like I don't know if you can see that. Well, I'll post it down below in the description. So, it's made by a company known as Divine Flavor. And this is their website in the back, divineflavor.com. And so, I guess it says organic and USDA approved and all that good stuff. And But, obviously, it's grown in Mexico. Nothing against that, but, you know, if, you, if people are ho really holistic and they like everything from USA, well, this one's from Mexico, sorry. So... Anyways, let's get to the testing. So, if you open it up like this, it's a little tiny, like, it looks like a Ziploc bag, and you just pull it like that, and you're in. So let's go ahead and take out a cluster here. So that's what they look like, just natural green grapes. I mean, you would think, if it's gonna be cotton candy flavor, why aren't they pink, right? Why aren't they a purple or a red color? Well, I guess this will kind of throw off the flavor of the grapes. So, anyways, one just, like, fell there. What a rebel. Anyways, and so, just a green grape. I'm just gonna pull it off the vine there. Now, what I look for is, like, any injection sites. Because if you've seen the blue orchids at, like, stores, they totally do that. They inject a stem full of blue dye, and there you go. You got a fake blue orchid. Phalaenopsis, yeah. Look that up. Anyways, so... Got the grape here. I'm not seeing any injection sites. I don't see any needle marks or anything like that. Now, if they wanted to do that, they could probably inject it into the stem itself, like right through there, or they can inject it into the grape plant, but that's pretty difficult to do. All right, so these grapes are just falling off, so I'm just going to put them in here. So we got one here, and we're going to give it a shot. So I'm a little nervous. I'm afraid what it's going to do to me is probably going to alter me. It says it's not GMO, but can't trust anything nowadays. Let's give it a shot. What the heck? What is that? That is cotton candy, guys. <laughs> that is really, really weird. It's so... It's hard to describe. It's so sweet. The skin is a little... Um, not as crispy, but... A little hard to chew at times, but whoa, I'm getting so much cotton candy flavor and I'm getting like a lot of liquid. That is pretty darn good. All right, let's try it again. I also heard a lot of reviews that people, when they uh, bit the grape again and they had another one, the flavor went away. Let's see if that's true. It's kind of right. I kind of believe them now. When you chew it again, you still get the same amount of sweetness, but the cotton candy flavor is kind of like gone, but it's still good. But it's like, if, I bet you, if you were to just drink something, like water, just like cleanse the palate, you know, do what you gotta do, get the taste off your taste buds, and then have another one, 
probably be just as good the first time. But these are pretty darn good. I mean, the skin to me is a little kind of, it's a little tough to chew. But everything else is good. Feels like cotton candy, like it says. But anyways, that's pretty darn good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to have another one. It's that good. It's so sweet. Like, I've never had a grape that, that that's this sweet. I mean, Jesus, I'm wondering what's the calorie content or the sugar content, because, I mean, if I was diabetic, how much sugar's in here? Like, natural sugar, you know? But, Jesus, really darn good. Wow, that had a lot of juice in that one. But, amazing, guys. You know, I'm afraid to keep eating these, because if I keep eating them, I may never switch back to grapes again. Even though they only have these at like one or two times of the year, and usually during summer, I heard, and if I can't find them, I'm gonna go crazy, but I hardly eat grapes anyway. But, addicting, very addicting. I found my new fave. Anyways, guys, so again, I pick it up again for you. They are the Divine Flavor cotton candy grapes. Sometimes they come in plastic uh, containers, but this one came in a bag. You can find them at, uh, I know there's there's some at Trader Joe's, and there's some at um, Sprouts, and there's probably some at your local um, uh, market that sells like fresh produce. It's really good. Uh, out, of, out of 10, 10.5 baby. Pretty darn good. So, I can't, I can't say any more about it. It's just that good. You got to try it for yourself. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little review of the Divine Flavor Grapes, cotton candy flavor. Hope you'll enjoy, and, of course, as always, happy growing. Mmm.